Okay, in this exercise, we'll be understanding the concept called protocol. What is a protocol? Why it's more needed? And how iOS application development is incomplete without the use of protocol. Now, basically, an object, there is no single entity in this universe which can perform all the tasks on its own. So, you create a class. In that class, you declare the references of various other objects. So, if you see in this example also, app delegate class creates a reference of UI window. So, what we say, app delegate has UI window. So, the relationship between the app delegate and the UI window is, has a relationship, composition. Whereas, app delegate is a UI responder. So, app delegate inherits from the UI responder. So the relationship between the app delegate and the UI responder is a easy relationship. Now, suppose if a class A wants to communicate with class B. So class A will create an object of class B. Thus, we can say class A has a relationship with class B. Now, in order to communicate Class A will call a method of class B using an object of class B. If class B object responds to the method call immediately then the method inside the class B will have a return statement but what if class B will perform operation in separate thread, thus making class A free to continue a task. This is most common scenario in software programs. So, when class B completes its task, it needs to it needs to send the feedback to class A. Now, class A needs to be interrupted. So, interruption to class A will be a calling of some methods which class A is implementing. Now, those methods can also be implemented by some other classes as well. Now, in order to explain you this, I take a simple example. Suppose I give you a task, I give you a set of links and I tell you to do a research and give me an Excel sheet by end of the day. So you will start 
doing your process independently without me waiting for you to give me the call back I, without you giving me the report I can still continue to do my work throughout the day now during the lunch break I just give you a buzz and say hey do not give me the reports give me the reports to the mr. XYZ now at the end of the day once your report is ready when you are done with your task you will be sending the call back to mr. XYZ not to me so basically depending upon who is listening to you you will be interrupting that particular person so the contract which will, will be signing so that contract will be signed that I'll be sending you some tasks you will be returning with me some data that's the contract between your and my communication now what you do apart from that is not my concern what I do after you give me the report is none of your business so the interface or there is a contract between both of uh, both the entities which provides the communication for some particular task and when that task is over both are independently doing their work so that contract is known as protocol in the objective C which act as a feedback mechanism in an asynchronous process the same concept lies in Java where we call interface and the same uh, concept in C++ is called virtual class now the Java interface provides all the methods to be implemented compulsory but in real world the contract has the required clause whether it has the optional clause as well so the protocol in the objective C provides required methods as well as an optional methods if pro so there are two types of protocol in a, a Swift if all the methods are optional in a protocol then we call that protocol an informal protocol if a protocol have at least one required method then we call that protocol as required protocol now like in Java we cannot have multiple inheritance similarly in Swift also we cannot have multiple inheritance so a class can extend only one class and but can implement various interfaces for its task similarly in Swift a class can extend one class but can confirm to various protocols as per its need so here class app delegate is extending UI responder but confirming a protocol called UI application delegate now let's go inside the UI application delegate so we press the command and click on that UI application delegate now protocol is declared by using a word protocol followed by the protocol name and confirming a super protocol now the way we have NS object for the classes similarly we have NS object protocol for the protocol now if you see it declares all the methods as optional so it has various methods all of them are declared as optional so the UI application delegate is an informal protocol now these are the protocol methods where where app delegate signs with the contract with the iOS so all the callbacks which iOS can send to your application are listed in this protocol so if any feature which you need to implement has an iOS callback and if that callback is not present inside this list that feature is cannot be implemented in the current version of iOS so basically all your method which we have seen in the app delegate are here application definition launching with option did, did become active will resign active so what happened being an informal protocol you are have the option whether you can implement them or you cannot implement them so this method template we have seen in last exercise needs to implement because this is the bare typical life cycle flow of your application so in Java the same syntax you would have written as class app delegate extends UI responder implements UI application delegate now if you see the the word UI application delegate the protocol name is divided into two half the first half is a physical location where it's been declared and the second half we always prefer to use the word delegate so whenever you see a word delegate you come to know oh it's a protocol so if I want to declare a protocol in app delegate suppose that the protocol name would be app delegate delegate for an example 
okay so app delegate confirms a informal protocol your application delegate that protocol defines all your callbacks on the ios 